are watching the SEC on ESPN in college football primetime presented by Hilton. And we're underway. Ole Miss at LSU. The Rebels won the toss and deferred. LSU elected to take the ball. And the opening kickoff from Luke Logan. And they come quickly to the line on third down and short. Edwards Elair breaks through into Rebel territory. Joe Burrow just, he, he's so calm, so confident, knows where he wants to go with the ball the majority of the time. 22 year old transfer from Ohio State eluded the rush. Lofts it deep for a touchdown. Jamar Chase. And you mentioned it, Todd. He's so poised under pressure from the left hash mark. A 38-yard field goal try is off the right upright and no good. So many weapons that Joe Burrow has to choose from. Three wide receivers, a talented tight end, a back who's excellent out of the backfield. Clyde Edwards Elia delivers a stiff arm from Kedron Smith. Just shoved him away. It's a 48-yard try. It would match his longest, and it is no good, just wide right. Of course, he was once on the other sideline here as the head coach. Plumley complete, retreating Elijah Moore. Wow! <laughs> That's a long way to run for a first down pickup. But rushing for 111 yards per game. Quick pop on target, but more, or rather, Dennis Jackson this time, true freshman number five, is five yards short of the first down. Third possession for LSU. They've run eight first down plays. They've gained 88 yards. They'll add to that total. Now the ball fumbled by Thaddeus Moss, and it looks like he got it back. Just the relentless aspect of recruiting that Ogeron brought to, to the staff. Three minutes to go in the quarter. Burrow on the move, on target. And Moss lunges for the first down. LSU second in the country in pass offense. And Ole Miss 117th in pass defense. Here's Jamar Chase, has a first down. They can't get him on the ground. And hits the crossing chase. And it's a touchdown for Ty Davis Price. And ended up transferring to Nebraska. I, I had a chance to visit with them today before the game over in the Grove. Burrow throws Jamar Chase wide open. Touchdown. We have both of the freshman running backs in the game together now. Ely and Connor. It's a reverse for Elijah Moore. He's in trouble. And did well to get back within about three yards of the line of scrimmage. Burrow graduated from Ohio State in three years with a degree in consumer and family financial services. His throw on target, Racy McMath. The ruling on the field is a completed catch. Sideline interference against the defense. The official ran into a member of the coaching staff. 15 yards added to the end of the run. First down. Fakes the handoff. Wow. Now it's possible he could be the number one pick in the draft in the NFL next year. Justin Jefferson will win that race. Touchdown LSU. He handed it off. Great speed by Ely. He's a big playmaker and he's making a big play. All the way down to the 25 yard line of LSU. Had offense like this. They've had great defense, haven't had this kind of offense. Plumley showing that rushing ability. See all those LSU defenders within about six yards of the ball. Plumley keeps it. That's a touchdown in a goal to go situation. Back it comes to the 45 yard line. Burrow, such great feel in so many aspects. Runs out of bounds and then gets belted on a late hit by Lakia Henry, who will be flagged for that one. After the play, personal foul, late hit out of bounds. Defense number one, 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. This one is getting that way itself. 
Blitz off the corner. He got it off to Edwards Elair. He's inside the 10. Dufan. He's in trouble. He'll be sacked. Back outside the 15 yard line. And the kick is good. Coach, you, a lot of people wanted to know, would there be a hangover after your big win with Alabama? How do you assess how your guys came out and took care of business so far? Oh, I'm proud of our guys. It was business-like. I thought we played very well in the first half. We got to stop the little counter play to run the second half. But overall, I'm pleased with our football team. And he just makes it look easy. 319 for the half. Ole Miss ball to begin the second half. And a big gainer to Octavius Cooley, the tight end. For good yardage. John Rice Plumley continues at quarterback. He takes off running. He's going to take off to the end zone. Two plays and a touchdown for Ole Miss in just 31 seconds. A little change in that plan, at least for the moment. Burrow runs over the umpire. It's a pass, and Edwards Elair does get the first down. One for two tonight. He's two for three tonight. They're about to go over 300 yards of offense and not yet midway through the third Look quarter. Out. Here goes Plumley again. Plumley running away from the LSU defense. Another touchdown for the freshman. His third of the night. Pressured again. Got it off and has a man. Justin Jefferson. He may go. He does not go. Jalen Julius got him. And they're in the red zone again, comfortably so, from the seven. Burrow touchdown to Justin Jefferson. He'll be an outfielder. It might be on those baseball team. Lumley throws an interception. Picked off by Kerry Vincent, who looks plenty healthy on this return. And he's chopped down inside the 30-yard line. Here's... Cade York for a 52 yarder would be the longest of his freshman season. Plenty of leg. Boy, did he boom that one with room to spare from 52. They designed a run for him, and the Tigers were ready for it. 4 0 this season, including last week at Alabama. Burrow running out of field. Is that an interception? Is he I in think bounds? So. I think he was. Yes, he was. Kedron Smith with the pick. Fifth interception of the year. First, as you saw in the graphic in the fourth quarter, they fake the reverse. Plumley keeps it. Here he goes again. Touchdown, John Rice Plumley. I'd like to take credit for that, but it was Ben Ward in the truck who whispered that in my ear. Long throw up for grabs and intercepted by DeAndre Prince. He's been in for Kerry Vincent when he's not been on the field. Play of the game so far. Plumley too high. They bring pressure right in his face. He got it off. Jamar Chase breaks free. They have angles on him. He made a great cut to the outside and scored. Some tackles and uh, he's been a responsible for some big plays. Corral on target. Elijah Moore weaves through that defense and a touchdown. At the time that they played, I mean, Ohio well, State. Four were in the top that. 25 still yes. entering today. Expected to be prohibitive favorites in each of their remaining games. Edwards Elair off to the races. Touchdown LSU, 49 yards. Now just one game left for Ole Miss, the Egg Bowl. Try to finish it five and seven. Oh, it's a win. It's 714 yards of offense for LSU. Last time they had 700 yards of offense was against Rice in 1977 when they put up 746. Well, Coach, a unique night. Your offense continues to set records. More school records broken tonight. But how do you describe the, the trials of the defense, both good and bad tonight? You know, and we fought. We had a 21-point victory. I'm so excited. happy for our football team. Got to get better on defense. There's some things we got to get better at. But overall, great win for our team.
it's hard to come back and play in a game like this. What are you proud of that your kids were able to do today? You know, I thought we started fast. I thought we came out in the first half. We were fired up, ready to go. We knew they'd fight for 60 minutes. I'm glad for the win. Thank you, Coach. Go Tigers.